Hello friends. In this video, we are going to talk about counters. Okay, counters are very special in PLC programming, and they are required when counting of some event is required. Okay, suppose we are working in some industry where the output needs to be count. Suppose there are boxes. Okay, and we have to count how many boxes are getting packed in an hour in a day. So at that time, a counter is required to count that boxes. Similarly, suppose we have to start a fan. Okay, we have to start a fan or we have to start a motor, but at that time we have to press the switch two times, three times. So counting is required to count the pressing of switches one, two, and three. After three count, the fan will or the motor will start. Let us see how we use counters in the program. This is the statement for it. CNT defines counters. S1 is where we enter the counter number or can say name C0, C1, C2, C3. Okay, so C is used for the counters. Here you can say C is used. You can see C is used for counters. S2 is the value you give for a counter to set. Suppose uh, you require five counts to start or to get an output. So when the counter counts five times then the output will high okay let's see in the program how it works so we first took a uh, anno which is x0 suppose it is our push button okay and what we require we require to start a motor when we press the push button three times so x0 or push button now we will took a counter so what is the command for counter c and t okay, space counter number which is c0 and since we have required to press the switch three times so we will took k3 okay now when the switch is pressed three times it the counter will get high so here we took an input of c0 which is our counter so when c0 becomes high it will start our motor which is y0 okay so in command this is our push button okay and y is our motor okay now go into simulation compile this program it is okay go online go online and run the plc Okay, so this is our push button. I press it first time, it counts one. I release, it still is one. I count second time, it is two. I release, it remains two. And then I count, press for third time. The output gets high. If I set is off and again set, the count remains three, which means if I set a point or set a value for a counter, it would counts up to that value. Okay, if you require to count higher value or some lower value, you require another counter or you can modify this command with some register to get a variable output accordingly. Okay, 